So I'm here today with my dear, how are you? Hi, Miss good Amira. How are you? I'm well, thank you. And we have mom and uh, is it cousin, yes? Yes. Sir. Amazing, amazing. The, the Latinos, they bring the love. Exactly. They bring the whole family. It's, it's amazing. Good energy. They're all good, all, all good. Yeah, they want to help her, right? Yeah. And Miss um, Amira, uh, your mother and I know each other from our children going to school. And, uh, and she said you were having some back pain, is that right? Yeah. Okay, and how long has it been going on for? For a couple of weeks, like three or four weeks. Okay, and what about prior to three or four weeks? When was the first time you felt it? Um, that's when it started hurting like the most. Never before felt it? No. Okay. Just a little. A little yeah, bit here and there. A little bit, yeah. Okay, so we did an exam and we went ahead and we found that there were some parts that were painful of the spine. True? Yeah. Yeah, pretty painful, right? Yeah. Do you remember, Mom? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty painful. Pretty painful. And then we took <laughs> some pictures too. and we found out um, there are a couple of issues here we're going to go over. So we're going to start out here. Um, so here's the neck from behind and you can see that um, what I want you to take from this picture is that it's not straight. Yeah. So the right side, the left side. Um, I'm going to get more into why the neck hurts in a moment, but this will make sense why it's not straight when we look at your mid back. Mm. Yeah. So we do have an abnormal curvature of the spine, so that's a mild scoliosis in the spine. And then what my job is as a chiropractor is to locate, analyze, and correct the spine. And of course we want to figure out what's primary, what's secondary. And so if we look at your lower back, now really quick before we move on, um, remember that the vertebrae, the bones, they are, they're just the structure but inside is the spinal cord. Mm -hmm. And that spinal cord is the way that your brain talks to your body. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. So think of, think of your brain as your data signal and your body as your iPhone. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, any, yeah, yeah. so anytime a bone is out of line in your spine, it means it's some part of your body's not communicating with the brain properly. Mm -hmm. So think of it like when you don't have a good signal, like you can't like, what app are you always on? Is it in Snapchat? Snapchat. <laughs> so imagine like, you know, when the snaps like fail to send, fail to send. Yeah. It's because you don't have a good connection, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like the same thing with your brain. The reason you're having pain is that the body and the brain aren't able to connect and adapt to the stresses you're having. So T10, the nerves go to your diaphragm muscle. It helps you breathe that muscle there. T12, uh, T10, they also go to the adrenal glands. T12, the diaphragm, the spleen, which is an immune organ. And then if we look at your lower back, Check that out. Take this. Yes, yep. Dr. Amira in the house. <laughs> My doc doctora, doctora. Okay, so what we see is that the pelvis is out of alignment. Um, we see that the lumbar spine is out of alignment. And so upon further investigation, we did a few things. We did a couple of motion studies and we see that when you bend to the left and bend to the right, the movement is off. Um, I'll get more into that later. It's not super pertinent right now. What I want you to see is that here from the side, you have an accentuated curvature. So essentially you're like this, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. it's almost like you kind of, you know, you're, the rear sticking out and the tummy's forward. Yeah. And what that does is in that forces your thoracic spine, your mid back like this, and it pushes your neck forward like, like that. Um, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you're like, you're here, and then you're like yeah. here. That's why you yeah. saw the pressure on pain. Yeah, that's right. And so every time you literally like walk, sit, anything that loads your spine, you feel pain. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we took a couple of pictures. We did what's called a couple of stress films. And what's, what oftentimes happens is when we lose these curves in our spine that absorb the shock, the spine starts to buckle like a scoliosis. And so what we did was we went ahead and we did what's called a stress film. And remember when I put the blocks underneath your hips? Yeah. Right, so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show the anticipated correction so when we went ahead and did that, you'll see here that we, we were able to reduce the curvature fairly significantly. Oh, yeah. And this was just on a demo. Mm -hmm. This is just conceptually, we're actually gonna have her, if she does corrective care, mm -hmm. strapped down on a table. So we're gonna adjust her spine to bring her spine back into alignment because she is most definitely out of alignment. So those are the adjustments. And that actually feels really good. Yeah. 
right? So that'll you'll you'll, you'll like that. <laughs> and then if we choose to move forward with corrective care, what we'll do again is um, we're going to get the curvature reduced. So otherwise, it wears down very fast your discs. And have you ever seen somebody older than yourself, like mom, dad, grandparent with like back problems? Mm. Like anyone older than yourself, like a grown up? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. most of the time it happens from lack of spinal care. Mm. Make sense? Yeah. So we're going to, that's what we would do in your lower back. And then with your neck, what we did was the same thing. We did a stress film. So this is where your neck is now. And this was just our first image on a stress film. And we got a fairly good correction here too. And so we want her neck more like that. Does that make sense? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Looks way better, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even though that's not perfect, again, this is just conceptual, so I know that we're in the right place doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. And so, um, again, you do have a couple of options. Option one is leave it alone. There are benefits. The benefit is you don't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> the, the drawback is that, you, you know, the problem continues. Oh, yeah. yeah, the pain. The okay. pain, yeah. It gets and worse. It, it gets worse. Yeah, the pain is actually a small thing. Mm -hmm. Over time, it actually becomes a much bigger problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then um, option two, corrective care. So it's going to be a higher frequency. In your case, you're very young. Yeah. Um, so that's a really good thing. Younger people tend to respond faster. So typically around like, we usually see changes around that like three to six month mark. But in your case, I'd probably start around like three, three and a half months. Mm -hmm. um, get in there and make changes. And then we're going to split the screen, do a follow up. I want to see changes. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. We want to move you to that mm -hmm. wellness care. Yep. Um, so if you want to yeah. rock and roll and get started. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So I'll go over that with mom. And um, you ready for your first alignment? Yes. Cool. She's so excited. <laughs> I love it. I love it. She's All so right. excited. As well you should be. As well you should be. It's yeah. a beautiful thing. So quick recap for you. Chiropractic. Chiro just means by hand. Practic means to do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, no meds, no surgery, anything like that. We're trying to align the spine mm -hmm. and get your brain and your body connected. Make sense? Yeah. Awesome. Got you. So Amira, are you ready for your first alignment? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. So we're going to lay face down here. My makeup. Your makeup. <laughs> Dang, the makeup. I know. It's, uh, it's not easy, right? All right, lady. Go ahead and lay face down. You know, health is wealth. That's all I can say. Health is wealth. All right, let's breathe in nice and deep, Miss Amira. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to find an area of your spine that needs to move. We're gonna put motion into it and you're gonna feel a movement and hear a noise. The noise is not your bones rubbing together, okay? Okay. So we're gonna breathe in nice and deep. And out. Chest relax. Oh. <laughs> How'd we do? Good. Hey. We're gonna breathe again. And out. Chest relax. <laughs> That's a good response. That's a good response, Mom. Now we're going to align her lower back, hips relaxed, Miss Amira. So this one you're going to lay on your right side facing me and your cuz. Come on over this way. Come on, bring your right arm over, all the way over. Okay, and we're going to actually, we're going to bend the top leg here. Bottom leg stays straight and we're going to just move you this way. There we go. And the reason we put you on your side, it's a little easier than laying face down, head relaxed. I'm going to hold you here so you don't roll off the table. Okay. And then I'm going to contact your lower back right here, okay? And then I'm going to lean over you because the force comes between the pockets or the hips, okay? Okay. So slow breath in and out. <laughs> shoulders relaxed. Hips relaxed all the way. Loosen the shoulders. <laughs> How do we do? Good. Yeah. That feels good. This is a big movement, huh? Yeah. So we're going to turn this way now. So tighten your tummy as you turn there. And there we go. Hips relaxed. Shoulders relaxed. Just like that. Relax your hips. Let me put you where we put you there. I'm going to hold you here again. And then you breathe in nice and deep. Drop your hips. Drop. Let them, yeah, straighten out that lower leg. Just let your body roll this way. I won't drop them. <laughs> A little tight there, right? Yeah. So I'm going to leave that one there. And you're going to lay face up here. Sometimes a little less is more. And head relax. Let me get all that hair out of the way. Perfect. Okay, so this one, this Amir, it's a little louder. It's closer to the ears, okay? Okay. You're going to breathe in deep. You know? Head relax. 
Oh, that felt so good. <laughs> Head relax. Breathe in again. And out. Drop the head. Beautiful. <laughs> Aligned and dialed. Tighten your abs. Come on up. Nice. How did we do? Good. Amazing. All right. Good. It's good, it's huh? So, so, so we love that. We love that it feels so good. Mom's super happy. Oh yeah. Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to make those underlying structural changes so that it lasts. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So um, if you're sore after an alignment, it's actually, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Okay. Cause like when doing a workout, yeah. right? You're tearing the tissues, the muscles get stronger. So mom, all she needs to do, I would just have her put an ice pack here for like 10, 20 minutes. Okay. And then one maybe like right lower here, back. mid, low back. Just mm -hmm. 10, it's just good practice, you know? Perfect. Just like, you know, hard workout yep. type of yep. thing. Yeah. And then we'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay. Amazing. All right, good job, Chica. You're welcome, dear. <laughs>